hey everyone welcome 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 once again welcome back if you are old and if you are coming in you we welcome you in jesus name the lord richly bless you thank you so much for joining us god bless you i have a word for you today this is something i believe is going to speak to you especially in this season of your life i believe god is going to use this to also bring a confirmation to someone that is watching right now if you're watching this video and you've been praying to God and you believe that God has answered you, you believe that there's been a release of your answer, even though you haven't seen it in the natural, you haven't seen the physical manifestation of the answers, you haven't welcomed it, but you know that the Lord has hurt you and has answered you. This video is definitely for you. God wants you to know that he's answered you. What you've been praying for has been heard and it has been answered by him. You have seen it, but the devil is just playing with you. He's messing around with you. And this is the sign that God has truly heard and answered you. You saw it clearly in your dreamland, your visions, or the Holy Spirit brought forth the word to you. And when this happened, you felt a form of release and peace on the inside of you concerning what you were praying for. You heard the Lord confirming to you that it is done. He has done it. And it's just a matter of time. You'll be walking into it and you'll be seeing it. Now, I want to make something very clear to us. There's a difference between God's timing and our timing. For many watching, it is not that the Lord has not answered you. It is that his timing for what you've been praying for has not yet arrived. It has not yet come. And the moment that time comes, you will see your answer manifesting. Man's timing has to do with what we want to see happen at a particular time that we are expecting. At a particular time that we want for it to happen but god's timing has to do with the time the appointed time the kairos moment that he has orchestrated he has ordained for you for your life and your destiny and so you may be in a period of waiting right now it doesn't mean that the lord has not answered you it doesn't mean that the lord has forgotten you it only means that he's waiting for that time to come for him to open up what he has kept for you. Many people watching, God has already answered you. But the devil is messing around with you. He's fooling you. He's getting you to believe that God is not hearing your prayers. He's not answering you. He doesn't care about you. And he's not involved with the matters of your life. That is not true. That is not so. That is a very big lie. God has answered you. You know that because you feel that peace coming from your spirit. There's a peace coming from within. You know that because he has shown it to you severally. You know that because he has revealed it to you through the voice of the Holy Spirit. And you know that because he has confirmed it to you through his servant. He has answered you. And so I want you to come to a place of peace and trust in the Lord. I want you to come to that place of faith once again. Because that is what is going to sustain your faith. That is what is going to keep you while you are waiting to enter into your manifestation. That is what is going to keep you. That is what will sustain you. Your trust in the Lord. Believe in the Lord. Confidence in his work. God is not a God that plays around. He doesn't joke around. He, he doesn't do things by chance. He's a master planner. He's a master planner. There are things that he has already prepared. While reading the Bible, I saw in many instances the Lord telling the people ahead of time what was going to happen. And when the time came, we saw the manifestation. He sent forth his word. And at the appointed time, the word was manifested. But this is not a license for us to sit back and do nothing. It is rather an encouragement for you to continue to serve him. Prepare yourself while you are waiting for the time to come when he's going to move 
and do his work in your life. When he's going to use you mightily, when he's going to bless you mightily, when he's going to pour out his anointing, his oil on you mightily, his fire, his grace upon you mightily. But be rest assured that the Lord has answered you. There are people trusting God to be married. God has answered you. But then there are some things that he's trying to work out. There are some things that he wants to do first before you get into that door. You access that door. Please don't be discouraged. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. If the Lord must move certain things, allow him to remove those things. Allow him to do the cleaning that he wants to do. Allow him to add to you the way that he wants to do. Because he has seen the end from the beginning. He knows what the end is going to be like. But you haven't seen it. He has seen the full picture. But you haven't seen it. You have seen just part. And that is why you are anxious. I'm speaking even to myself. That is why there is anxiety. Because you're not able to see the full picture. But there is a bigger picture. There is an end and the Lord has seen it. That is why he's working the way that he's working. Because he wants you to be prepared. He wants you to be ready for it. Don't become discouraged. Don't give up. Now how do you know that the enemy is messing with you when the Lord has already answered you? Number one, he keeps getting you weak and discouraged. Just so that you can give up your faith. One thing about faith is it, it helps to sustain you in the times you are waiting. So that when the time comes, you'll be able to receive without wavering. That is one thing about faith. Faith is what causes us to receive powerfully from the Lord. And so when the enemy is messing around with you, he will touch your faith. He will get you to become weak, tired, discouraged so that he can mess around with your faith. And your faith, when it's messed, messed up with, you'll not be able to wait till you receive. You'll not be able to wait till you access what the Lord has already opened up. You'll not be able to wait until you get to his appointed time. So he plays with your faith. And the second thing is he brings forth visions that are not of God to discourage you. He brings forth negative visions to discourage you. You see some things in your dreams that are not of God. Those are things that are coming from the enemy to get you discouraged. I did a video on dreams that are of God and those that are not of God. Please, if you can, go and watch it. It's on this channel. I believe it's going to speak and minister to you. So take note of these two things. Take note of these two areas. He's going to want to attack your faith and also mess up with your dreams. Mess up with your visions. Don't let that happen. Continue to trust in the Lord. Continue to believe in Him. Have faith. You are going to walk into His appointed time. No one can stop what God has done for you. No man, no woman can stop it. It will come to pass. It will manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this spoke to you one way or the other. And if it was a blessing to you, please be sure to share with someone else. I believe it's going to come up as a blessing today. Like the video as well. Subscribe if you are new. You're welcome to join the family. I love you. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And I hope to see you in another one by His special grace.